It's just Jen Kids. How's it, guys? Conrad here. Lucky to be with you. I just want to say something. Mr. Ivan von Fieren, you call that a knife? This is a knife. It's a wooden knife. Wouldn't that be nice if you had that one? So, kids, mm. I'm getting ready. I'm going on an adventure. I'm going to explore because I have a map and I want you to come with me to find the treasure and I'm so excited. So I'm going to give you 10 seconds to go call mom, dad, granny, grandpa and your goldfish. Gluk, gluk. Go and find them while I finish me shaving and then we'll check you now now. And then, don't forget, Byron and Friends is coming up. Get ready guys. And 10 seconds is starting now. you guys again and I'm sure you guys are so excited this morning for the cool things that we have. We have a really awesome testimony but before we get there I'm actually so hungry so I'm gonna make some food for myself quickly and actually I've got my pot right here so let's go ahead with it. I found some really cool ingredients around the house. It's a random stuff but it's pretty cool. Like this? Delicious in your pot? Whoa there we go. Very hot. It's Hey, yo! I need to see my jeans. Um, I have, but I, mean, I don't know. Okay, I'll, I'll just go and search for it. Yeah, I think somewhere around the house. Hey, Byron. Yeah. Your yellow one? Yeah. No? Uh, okay, cool. Hey, Byron, I'm quickly going to the shop. Have you seen my keys? Your car keys? Yeah. Um, many by the door. My God. Yo, I wonder where my things are. Yes, I can. Here's all the things I was looking for. Sure, guys, I'm so hungry, but I think these are the wrong ingredients for a lunch meal or a breakfast meal because this doesn't really look too good. But guys, do you know sometimes we put things in our lives that God doesn't intend for us and it actually doesn't look good. So we're going to be hearing a really cool testimony now from Kellen about when she put the wrong stuff in her life and God saved her out of that. So let's go have a look. Hey friends, um, my name is Kellen and I would love to share with you guys about how Jesus saved me um, and placed me into church family. A few years ago we went through a very difficult time where my mom was very sick and um, she passed away. 
and uh, I was very sad. We went through some difficult times and um, I looked for happiness in the wrong things and I really tried to do some silly things. Um, and yeah, it, it was at that time where I was in a really dark place um, where I thought of a friend that I had that, that loved to go to church and loved Jesus. Um, and I sent him a message and he invited me to go to church with them. Um, and it was when it was when I went to church that I met Jesus, um, and He came and He showed me that I needed to change my life. Um, and so, yeah, I repented for my sins and I changed my ways. Um, and yeah, uh, it was at that moment where um, the church also tried to help me, and, and they took me into their home, um, and they really loved me the way Jesus does. Um, and they showed me something of how the church is supposed to be. Um, and yeah, from, from there, I really experienced Jesus and I experienced family like never before. Hey guys, that was such a cool testimony of Kellen being lost in this world and God coming in, saving her and putting her into church family. Yeah guys, and just as God saved Kellen, God can save you guys too, no matter how old you are. It's not just the adults that he saves. So guys, we are going to be going into such a great celebration though, because we celebrate that Jesus has saved us. And one of the things we do is we worship. Oh yeah, oh yeah. To follow Jesus No turning back, no turning back By His blood I am forgiven No turning back, no turning back I have decided To follow Jesus No turning back, no turning back By His blood I am forgiven No turning back, no turning back Oh, oh, Christ in me I'm gonna let Him shine And show the world that Jesus is alive Christ in me I'm gonna let Him shine And show the world that Jesus is alive I have decided to live for Jesus No turning back, no turning back Your kingdom come Your will be done No turning back, no turning back Oh, oh, Christ in me I'm gonna let Him shine And show the world that Jesus is alive Christ in me I'm gonna let Him shine and show the world that Jesus is alive Oh, oh Für die Welt weiß, dass Jesus lebt. Christus in mei, ich kann um Lot schein. Für die Welt weiß, dass Jesus lebt. Oh, oh. Christus in mei, ich kann um Lot schein. Für die Welt weiß, dass Jesus lebt. Christus in mei, ich kann um Lot schein. Für die Welt weiß, dass Jesus lebt. Boys and girls, here we go. That song is incredible. 
When we follow Jesus, we say no to the things we used to do. And we follow the King of Kings. Now guys, remember I told you about the treasure map. The treasure map. Now on this journey of following Jesus, we need this treasure. I wonder what this treasure is because it looks so important. And I want to follow this map. So... In our lives, when we follow Jesus, things happen. And we're like, oh, oh, oh. So we, we fall and we, and we sin. But I know there's hope for you and there's hope for me. Because when we look and we follow this treasure and we find the treasure, we'll find the answer that what happens when we sin. Let's listen to this. If we confess our sins to Jesus, He is faithful and fair to forgive us and to cleanse us from all our sins. 1 John 1 verse 9. Hey, do you want to join me? If we confess our sins to Jesus, He is faithful and fair to forgive us and us and to cleanse us from John 1 verse 9. Let's do it one more time. If we confess our sins to Jesus, He is faithful and fair to forgive us and to cleanse us. Guys, I have to find this treasure. I have to find this treasure. Come, come with me, guys. Let's find this treasure. We've got to go. Like the guys in the Bible, they were so excited to find this treasure. We've got to go. We've got to run. We've got to find this treasure. So let's check it out. Let's check it out. And there's a Bible story coming up. There's a Bible story coming up, guys. And we've got to hear this story. We've got to hear this. Check us out. This is going to be great. What happens when you find the treasure? Your life changes. Check the story. Yeah. <laughs> Yay. Hello, children. Last week we learned about how, um, how the people of God, Israel, um, was led by Ezra and how they rebuilt um, the walls of Jerusalem and you know that it just took 52 days to to rebuild the walls of Jerusalem because the people worked in unity and it was just amazing. So the walls around Jerusalem were finished at last after 52 days. With God's help the people finished rebuilding the walls and the city gates. All the people in Jerusalem gathered together early in the morning at one of the city gates. Men, women, and children, anyone who could understand came to listen to the reading of God's word. As the sun was just coming up, Ezra the priest brought out the book of the law of Moses that God had given to his people. God's words were written in a scroll. Ezra stood on a high wooden platform and began to read. Ezra read the law for hours and all the people listened carefully. The people stood up. They had respect for God's word. Ezra praised God and the people lifted up their hands. Amen, amen, they said. 
the people in the crowd bowed down with their faces to the ground and they worshipped God. Some of the leaders there explained the law to the people and helped them understand the words Ezra read. As the people heard the words of the law, they began to cry. The law was God's rules for living and the people had disobeyed God. They realized they had sinned. Ezra, the Levites, and Nehemiah, the governor, said, This day is holy to the Lord your God. Do not be sad or cry. Even though the people's sins made them sad, this was actually a happy day. Then Ezra said to them, Go home and prepare a feast. Eat rich food and drink sweet drinks. Share what you have prepared with those who have prepared nothing. And again, Ezra said, today is holy to the Lord. This is not a day to be sad because the joy of the Lord is your strength. So the people obeyed Ezra. They prepared a feast. They were glad because they understood the words of the law that were explained to them by the Levites. Nehemiah led God's people to repent and confess their sin. They agreed to worship only God and promised to obey him. God's word is powerful, people. When Ezra read God's word, the people loved God more and changed their ways. Their hearts were changed. The Bible says that Jesus is the word. Jesus is God who came to live with us on earth. Jesus has the power to change our hearts. And I hope today, children, that you will know how powerful God's word is. And when you read it, to ask God to change your heart and to help you understand what he's saying to you. He is faithful to do that for us. Okay, it feels like I'm almost there, guys. Almost there. Just a few more steps according to this map. So it says one step to the right. So here we go. One. And then it says two steps forward. One. Two. A bit to the left. A bit to the left. And one step ahead and you will find the treasure like I said. Is this the treasure? Oh, it is. It is the treasure. It is. Oh, what is this? What? Oh. Oh. Yellow. That's the Bible. That's the Bible. It's the Bible. It's the treasure. How beautiful is the Bible. How beautiful is God's word. And this is the treasure that I was looking for. I am so excited that I found the treasure. Yay! Guys, I am so thankful that I found the treasure. Now the treasure is the Bible. How awesome is that? And two things about the Bible. The one, it's like a mirror. When you read it and you see stuff there and you find out that this is what's in my life and it brings us to God and we say, I'm sorry, God. So the Bible is like a mirror. It shows us the dirt in our lives. Look this dirt on my face. I couldn't see it without the mirror. Like the Bible shows us stuff, for instance. If someone said something bad to us and we want to get them back and we read in the Bible that we need to forgive them, then it's like a mirror. God speaks to us and he says, forgive that person. And then we realize our sin and we repent and we ask for forgiveness. The next thing that the word of God is, and that is like water. After he has shown you the dirt on you and you come to God and you say, God, I receive your forgiveness as I ask for forgiveness. So the word of God shows us our dirt and it also shows us 
what we can do about our dirt. And this is it. The Word of God is like washing us as we, as we read it. And the blood of Jesus cleanses us, makes us clean from all the dirt in our lives. The Bible is a treasure. I want you to take your Bible, read your Bible, treasure your Bible. And when you read it, read and obey. And I 
Hey guys, it was an incredible time today. And uh, I want to thank everyone who participated in that, that the memory verses, that the stories and everything, the editing, you name it, you guys are rocking. Without you, this can't happen. So thank you, thumbs up, both thumbs up. So parents, man, squeeze your kids, love them, appreciate them, tell, much, tell them how much you care for them. And then let's do the digital pack. Let's jump into that baby and let's get those conversations going. And everybody, moms, dads, grannies, grandpas, boys, girls, okay, it's not for you goldfish, but for the rest of us, the Bible. Love the Bible. Read the Bible and hide it in your heart. Like David said, I hide your word in my heart so I won't sin against you. So everybody, till next time, we'll see you again. Oh! Ah!